It is going to be a uh, seven-man can CM for both they teams. Are. Yeah. Smart choice. Smart yep, choice. it is one of those that you are going to want to be low manning, guys. 100%. So they're all ready. So, oh, wait, wait, are they going? Okay, they're actually going. Fucking hell. Oh, Mirage. Yeah. See how the Mirage. And here we go. Yeah, I mean, a Mirage is obviously a very good choice. Sorry, a little bit slow on the timer there, guys. But Switch off Mela's POV yeah. because Mela is one of the dead people for this round. Yes. yes. So yeah, he is not going to be doing anything right now. Of course, the, the players can be uh, disappearing. Is that a um, heal tempest I see for NXS? Oh, a heal tempest. I, I heal tempest. Yeah. I, well, actually, that is most likely you because of the the way the bands are, right? Like at the end of the day, yeah. you are going to want to be getting rid of some classes that are not strictly what you want, but can still do, do the job here, right? And that is why tempest can be good here, right? Like not only can it make this fight a little bit easier. Oh, precasts coming down from uh, <laughs> from NXS there, uh, but not really. Not really doing too much. And by the way, guys, just for reference, the timers are actually um, based on the delay of the stream. So that is why you're seeing a few different numbers there. And here we go. Let's see. We have Arc DPS running for NXS. So we can see that DPS uptime. And they are going to be beginning here. Okay, so the, the, the thing about Ken uh, is it can be a bit of a fiesta, guys. Uh, so basically, just for those unfamiliar with the challenge mode, uh, every... 10 seconds, it will automatically use your special action hotkey. Okay, so you have to be really careful about that, and that is why this fight has a tendency to spiral out of control very, very quickly. It can be very difficult to resurrect people if anyone actually does go down here. And it looks like SC is taking a bit of a DPS lead uh, so yes. far by a few, what is it, what, 5% uh, here? 5%. So, yeah, about 5%. So SC, a very, very strong performance uh, right off the bat here, and they're looking to secure themselves a lead now, coming out of Ken. One thing I'm curious, I'm watching NXS, and they have empowering allies on, even though they have a Condi comp. Hmm. 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 Where is hmm. your Burning Arrows trade for that extra bit of DPS? Well, I mean, you know. it might always be worth those. 150 power is good, even on on classes that don't have much Connie damage. I mean, you, we have our, because our warrior ex, resident warrior expert uh, Nike here with us. So, what do you think about that? What do you think about the the empower allies choice there? Uh, I think it's negligible. It's less than one. I mean, of yeah. their total raid DPS, it's going to be like one half of one percent. Like it won't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, this boss turns into a fiesta, like we were saying, especially late in the fight when multiple people have the agony, it can really overwhelm you, and you really do want someone to call out the special action key, like someone who just, their job Ooh. is to sit there and call out the special action key. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. people will start tunnel visioning and get in big trouble. Ah, uh, Ariel just saved two people from SC there. They did go briefly into the downstate, but they were immediately res up by that spirit of nature that we see there. A very, very clutch ability. Of course, able to revive teammates instantly. It is getting a little bit shaky here. Uh, a lot of pressure being taken uh, by Snorkers. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, no. <laughs> One SC <laughs> man! <laughs> what, uh -oh. One SC member is thrown off the platform, and another in downstate! Three in downstate! Oh, oh no! Oh, that is bad. God. Oh, what a disaster! SC actually wiping. Oh, that was just out of control there. It looks so very, very strong. Their DPS was absolutely godlike. But this this boss can turn into a fiesta yeah. really. Yeah, I, as we were saying, guys, like with the CM on, it can get absolutely ridiculous out of nowhere, uh, and we're definitely seeing that in effect right now, guys. And if this is your first time seeing Kane CM, uh, on regular CM, when you get uh, on regular Kane, if you get like 100 stacks, you can still use the skill and move. But here, when you get 100 stacks, you froze in place, and if you get hit by the next attack, you're instantly dead. So, and excess is getting work yeah. done. They are reviving, and they are looking like they are actually going to be the winners oh. here. They seem to be running a much more stable composition here, which... Yes has allowed them to survive it has they did have a considerably lower dps number however they do seem to be surviving the entire fight and they will be getting yeah. it the yeah. it down in just a few moments here guys and that means we will be showing what exactly they will be banning moving on for the rest of the ring. and what that means guys is that they have to pick two classes at the end of this boss uh, and by classes i mean elite uh, specializations that means base uh, core mm -hmm. or you know uh, base heart of thorns or path of fire and they can't use those for the rest of the fight. And they will be picking that right now, guys. They're about to pick that. 
uh, in just one moment as this goes down, and we will be displaying that. And there we go! NXS has Tempest. taken it down, and they are going to be... Uh, see, they are going to one be... Thing, uh, note for this next section before they get to Mursat Overseer is you can get a lot of time with Portal uh, yes. knocking down the debris blocking the door. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, plan this, because you can save up to 20 seconds if you mm. do this next part fast. Oh, and correct. hopefully, and I'm sure all the teams have practiced fast transitions to the next bosses. Um, so I'm interested to see what they actually have planned and if they have. Uh, I, really see, next I see that's their job. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, obviously, for Mercer oh, Overseer, oh. it is a fight where ads are really, really important. Those Jade Knights uh, are going to be, ex Jade Scouts, right, are extremely dangerous. Uh, and, of course, are a source of extra DPS from the Epidemic Bound, so that is going to be really key here. And the bans for NX, sorry about the lay guys, I uh, kind of messed up with my controller there for one second. They are going to be banning Mirage and Renegade, so those classes are not available to NXS for the remainder of Wing 4 here. Okay, SC, however, ha does seem to be having a pretty good time of it in catching up, right? They nearly have the boss down. Uh, again, it's about 25% as I'm seeing there. We can just uh, have a look at what's going on there, just for one moment, yeah, and then we can... the uh, the RNG boss, Mursat Overseer. Yeah. yeah, and that is one other thing about Mursat Overseer, is that the spikes on the floor can line up with the, the blue, uh, yep. blue mechanic that you have to go into to stay alive. And if you have the just the right amount of DPS, you can be in a situation where you have literally no chance to survive. Yes. And no matter, you can play flawlessly, but there's li just sometimes it just lines up where you have mm. no chance. Uh, and that, the blues is different for every uh, yeah, player. Yeah, these too. are clients. Like, really yeah. lovely mechanic. Really lovely mechanic on this fight, guys. A really, really awesome one. And it looks like NXS just getting all their players in there. They have successfully dug a hole. SC is going to be taking down Ken in just a minute. There it is. SC taking down Ken, and they're going to be moving on. They did seem to have one hell of a blistering run there, I have to say. They want to they wanna catch. And they're actually a similar strategy. Uh, from SC, they are banning Daredevil and Mirage. So trading, uh, they uh, they were running a Daredevil over the Renegade, perhaps. Triple that... spiritual man SX. Oh yeah, oh, that's. Damn. And I have to say, that is exactly what I see. We're seeing uh, SC do some cheeky, uh, cheeky. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what happened there? Uh, NXS is uh, having to reset. Not exactly sure they, what they happened. Forget the challenge they forgot challenge mode. Oh, they forgot CM. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, 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 well. Is a... That is a bit of a flub there, a bit of a free time loss. Oh, it also happened to left camera shakes on too. Yeah, so not the not the best uh, not the best start for NX, but they do do still have a bit of a lead here, guys. They do still have that lead uh, going into this, so they they should be okay uh, to still be a little bit ahead there. But they certainly don't want another thing like that happening. They really do not want that happening again. Okay. Of course, this is where Epidemic goes so well. In fact, you can do uh, you can do Mercer Overseer CM without ever spawning a Jade Scout oh, just because of how strong Epidemic epi. is. The early Epi bounce, damn. I don't. Uh, yeah, you can you can do it very aggressively yeah. while it's even in the air because very of the way the projectiles work. So there's the first blue. Bear in mind, guys, if not if every player isn't standing in one of those, they will instantly die. There is no downside there. So this is a razor edge fight, guys. All right. And obviously DPS is very important here, but as Nike was saying, guys, if your DPS doesn't line up, you are screwed. Uh, there is some way you can kind of get out of it. You can place Protect right in the middle of the arena, uh, and that means you can kind of edge onto the blue and be in the Protect for the spikes mm -hmm. there as well, so you can survive, but you've only got that once. You know, you've only got that once. SC is now going to be starting up uh, Masa over here now as well. well if uh, there are actually like two checkpoints for the DPS for Masa over series, you might be able to get... Uh, you might be able to get away with the first one, but the towards the end where you have to move to the corner, there's also one more checkpoint there. And if you don't meet that one, your protect might not be up mm. and wipe at like 10%. So I hope. Yeah, I hope and these so guilds I... have practiced enough that they know exactly yeah. what percentage HP Mursat Overseer has to be at cool. by what time in the fight. And if they see it's not working, then uh, th they'll know, they, they usually will have a contingency plan uh, for that. Mm. There's one horrible thing that Mercedes over series is a lot of people will try min max uh, DPS by standing very close towards the middle of the four tiles, and if you happen to get a decent, because a lot of time even though you stand right at the edge, you sometimes the game decided to still kill you. So hopefully they don't play too aggressive and get struck by arena net uh, design. You it know? does look like mm. NXS has at least hit the first checkpoint yep. pretty yep. well, and they've very well. Uh, they've got the DPS where they want. 
Um, so as long as they don't get some horrific RNG, they should be in good shape. Yeah. Uh, one thing to note here for SC is they do have an additional player here on this. So mm -hmm. that may, I suppose, that will of course mean they are sacking a player later on with, uh, compared to NXS, right? Of course, uh, seeing as they had the same on Ken. But it is allowing them to catch up quite nicely here on Mersart Overseer. So that is something for them there. Uh, and uh, honestly, the amount of deficit they're making up here really is quite remarkable, I have to say. Yep. Uh, considering, like, That's SC right. DPS is absolutely off the chain. They're honestly looking like they might be taking this down at around the same time as NXS here, actually. Of course, the, you know, the missed challenge mode is certainly, not, they, it's certainly uh, helping them out there. There's a difference right now, I believe. 143 versus uh, 180k plus DPS. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a huge disparity by adding that one extra player's Mm. Uh, it really, really is. Ooh, ooh. Very close. Very yeah, close. it is really, really close. NXS will be taking this down in just a few moments here. Looking at a very, very clean kill. Very clean performance here from NXS so far. But SC are really not far behind. I would say they're only, what, 20 seconds behind here? At this point, really uh, making up that deficit. And then we'll yep. be moving on. And that is it. Don't forget to activate the challenge mode. That is it, guys. NXS have taken down Mercer Overseer, and they'll be moving on to Samurai right now. But SC in hot pursuit. That'll be taking that. That will be taken down in just a few moments. Uh, we have. We'll be able to and see. Hopefully, the uh, Samurai does not bug. Uh, Samurai CM has been changed to be uh, a little bit easier than it was originally. But it, it's still a fight where a lot can go wrong really fast. So I would not be surprised at all if there's a wipe on Samurai yeah. from either team. Uh, and if they do, or in fact, multiple fast wipes. To, yeah. not, it's not that safe of a fight. Hey. I would say it's probably more likely to have a wipe on Samurai CM than Deimos. Yes, it, it's probably. I would, I, I would certainly uh, agree in saying that it's probably the most difficult. Uh, of the the challenge modes, especially seeing as uh, Demos has been made considerably more uh, consistent than it was before, and we're going to look at Mella's POV here. Obviously, this is a boss where stuff like Weaver is really really great, right? Like uh, Samrog has a massive hitbox, guys, a massive hitbox, I tell you, okay? And that is going to be a great thing for these staff leaders. However, this. This, there is a really tricky mechanic here, guys. So the spears that normally don't... Basically, this fight normally does absolutely nothing uh, on normal mode, but on CM it does everything. Um, when you have the, the friends mechanic, as it's known, or the, the circles where you have to stand on top of each other to align your yourself so you don't kill your entire team, uh, you actually are immobilized. And as you can imagine, that is really inconvenient considering this is a fight where knockbacks are in great abundance. As you can see, that is the mechanic we're talking about there, guys. But SC, starting at about the same time, they are a player down, though. It looks like, and yeah, this is where they traded that extra player. NXS is going to have an additional player on Samrock here, which could give them a bit of an edge here. Let's see how that's going to go. What kind of strategy... Uh, will these players be employing like there is a very classic tanking strategy on Samrock Sim where you will simply move around the arena, uh, you know, basically kiting the spears and you drop one behind you, you move forwards. You drop one behind you, you move forwards. But wow, SC using a very aggressive strategy here. They're, they're barely moving the boss. And well, exa that's exactly what they want, right? They've really, uh, they certainly got a good strategy. For and they are already, even with a lower player, they are actually pulling ahead of NXS right now. All the things do is that CC is crucially important yes. in this fight because mm. you have to CC the boss every 10% of his HP. Wow, uh, crisp there from SC. One thing that can happen is your DPS is actually too high and the CCs come too often and your CC skills are on cooldown and you'll actually lower your overall team DPS because you're yep. just pushing the phases too fast. Because Samarok doesn't does not take any damage during CC. And there's also that one buck if you happen to DPS way too fast at 66%, all the way to 66%, you might actually lose a player. This is yeah, because yeah, the there too. are some uh, there are some interesting uh, interesting glitches <laughs> on this boss. That's uh, that's for sure. I really do hope we don't encounter any yeah. uh, completely game breaking bugs. Uh, shall we shall we say? Oh, but, my goodness, yeah. an absolutely blistering eight-man Samrog CM from Snowcrows. It's already phased. They haven't. They've moved they, a tiny the amount. Yeah, yeah they already the have the lead despite the wipe and a less player as well. That and is absolutely awe-inspiring. Nine man demos. That's gonna be. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That, and they're both going to be no manning uh, they must have, the player count has even now here. So if SC goes into this even, they are going to be in a pretty happy spot, honestly. They're going to be feeling pretty comf uh, confident about that. 
uh, seeing as it does seem that they have got some serious DPS rotations. Uh, the split phase here, dealing with Rigam and Goldham, is actually really annoying uh, in CM, of course, because you don't have space to maneuver and push them, but these teams are not struggling with that at all. By the looks of this, they have just locked them down, permanent immobilized, and they are destroying these mini NPCs. Of course, this is, you know, this is kind of the time where some of the, you know, sometimes you might save your cooldowns because you want to agree for DPS on the boss, but that is not what you want here. Like, these split phases matter, right? You want to get this done quickly. Uh, you really do. Now, if one thing you want to learn something from these team, team is you want to look at their positioning, right? Look at how tight the players are stacking mm. for buffs and all that stuff. A lot of the mm. time, if you have a pugging raids, you see everybody's running around like a bunch of hellish chickens. But you look at these groups, very tight positionings, oh. like top notch. Yeah, uh, uh, one uh, one kind of feature of well, this raid tournament in general is you'll you'll see how how hard Chaos Chrono is being abused here, right? <laughs> they are really really abusing Chaos Chrono. Obviously, stability is an awesome thing to have on this yes. fight, right, guys? Yeah, and, uh, and ages. And yeah, yeah, blocks and stability is really great uh, to have on this fight, and that is exactly uh, what what well what Chaos Chrono provides. It provides all that stuff. It, so this is what's really helping these players. So even if they get hit by the knockback, it doesn't affect them. And well, the the CC from SC is absolutely insane. Amazing. It is actually yeah, yeah. insane. I have not seen anything like that, actually. <laughs> that is ridiculous how fast they're breaking these bars. And they are definitely securing themselves quite a strong lead yeah. uh, going into the second half of this fight. Bar is like huge. Yeah, it, it really yeah. is. I believe it's 3,000, right? Yeah, I believe it is 3,000 three, uh, 3, break bars. It's, it's three mowers. It's 4,000. It's four, four mowers. Thousand, yeah. Four mowers. <laughs> uh, that is just how uh, how well coordinated and uh, the execution that is going on here from SC is just crazy. Uh, they are really doing some work here, that's for sure. Now going to be moving and into what's the... what's interesting oh. about that is you're watching Mello's point of view. He's not even contributing to the CC. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> not even using ice bow or light lightning hammer. So you know, you tell you what, guys. You know, when 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 you fail a CC on Samrog or it takes forever, just maybe link them this, okay? Maybe just tell them about this, okay, guys? You know what I'm and saying? Phase already. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's the phase. They're already going on to that second split phase. Oh wow, and they get a pull at the same time. That's Ooh. really nice and convenient for SC there. Uh, that's, that that, that will really help them with getting this done quickly. And XS, not too far behind though. Bear that in mind, guys, okay? It wouldn't take too much to go wrong. A few downs, like a lot of lengthy time spent rezzing for Snowcrows, and NXS is right back in this, okay? They're only, what, 5% behind, I think. Which is really not too bad. But SC, looking very, very strong here right now, guys. Very, very strong indeed, okay? And they are going to be moving into the final phase very shortly. NXS, getting into that second split phase. 66% HP behind on Rigam, though. SC in a commanding position right now, I have to say. One thing uh, to note is NXS is using a very conservative comp with lots of Dragon Hunters because they oh. value the extra CC over mm. the, the DPS. Um, and you can see, obviously, why Snow Crows is so far ahead on DPS. Um, but the interesting part of that is I'm sure CC was the main uh, reason that NXS went with this comp, and their CC isn't even that much better. Uh, it's it's and my thought process is that they're they're going to save their weavers for demos, mm. and it comes into what is Snowcrows going to what comps are Snowcrows going to burn uh, after Samurag? Yeah. And we'll be able to see that very, very shortly. I mean, if I could even tell you now, actually, uh, if, if we wanted to, um, uh, I guess we could. I mean, the, we're going to find out very shortly. Anyway, let's see what Snowcrows is going to be banning. They are uh, actually uh, going to ban Dragon Hunter and Base Warrior. See, this is where that strategy comes into play, guys, okay? They are running a Dragon Hunter and a Base Warrior right now, which they're basically using as ban fodder, right? Uh, for <laughs> for the for the final match, right? And that is, uh, you know, very, you know, very, very strong because that's going to allow them, guys, to still run Weavers, okay, on Demos. And Weavers on Demos are, again, extremely, extremely powerful, you know. Uh, he is a, a fight about bursting people down, right? It is about burst. And the boss doesn't typically move that much as well, making Weaver great. And, of course, he has a pretty decent sized hitbox as well. I think there's one more break bar for SC. Uh, before the for the bar. they won't even they yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah they just go straight for the gg straight for the gg i, I believe is that a gg into a relog yep. i think it is right yeah yep so they are gonna Very be swapping strategy. yeah 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 that's actually really nice that's really nice yeah that's crisp they've really uh, they've really thought their strats through here really thought their strats through and it's gonna be dying yeah. in just a few seconds here 
and I hope they turn up the cutscene too. That's yeah, don't, that. forget about that. yeah, don't forget yeah. about that. All right, there we go. <laughs> SC has taken down Samrog NXS. Uh, they are, you know, they're in hot pursuit, man. It's uh, only a few percentages uh, uh, left. It's what a fifteen percent there, I believe. As yeah, SC yeah. is moving on, uh, of course, they're going to need a hand kiter for this guy's bear that in mind. Uh, so you know what? We, we need to, you know what we need to look at, guys? We need to be looking at Mela's bar to see if we see any in the Assassin's Presence. Are they going to go for the Assassin's Presence tryharding? What do you guys think? Uh, yes. I, uh, I think they'll have it, but I don't know that they're going to super tryhard where the hands are going to be right there. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, maybe some stuff is too elitist, even for SC. And there we go. They are now starting. Uh, while they're doing that pre-event, we will be looking at the final moments of NXS versus Samrog CM. So, One thing to say about the pre-event in CM is you really, really want a one burn. Yes. You do not want to do it multiple times because Saul will take damage that you can't heal. Um, so if you can, if you take more than one or two burns, just the few little greeds getting in is going to put you in a big hole that unfortunately you won't be able to dig out of. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right because, of course, just for those who maybe haven't seen uh, a Demos challenge mode before, the main thing here is that Saul does not help you at all because normally he would give you a little bit of a hand, right? But oh no, not this time. This time uh, he's just going to stand there like a uh, like a vegetable. I'm afraid he's going to stay yeah, chained up. No, yeah, and there's no um, there's no buff there's as no well. Bubble. Yeah, there's no bubble in the middle. Mm. Yeah, there's Therefore, no ball in the middle. for the NA players, you were forced to do melee strats <laughs> on Deimos. Yeah, there is well, no bubble. Is about to kill Samurog. They have killed Samurog. They wait, will what? be making their swaps and switches and moving on. Wait, wait. They they killed it uh, ages oh. ago for me. Mine, mine wait, wait. <laughs> uh, well, uh, SC well, though. They, they're setting already... up right now. For the yeah, they're just setting up right now, and they're swapping over to. And Deimos uh, is already at eighty-five percent. Yeah, SC, SC oh. is re. Ooh. There's a bit of downtime here. I, I think this is. There's, there's some downtime for NXS. They seem to be waiting for yeah. cooldowns. Uh, wouldn't it have been more efficient to just start the fight to, to reset it there? I think. Yeah. I don't know why they they aren't doing that. Um, I mean they they are allowed to, but I mean I mean never mind. Uh, and that's the first green is is already up for uh, for Snowcrows, and there we go. They're going on to the first Saul phase there, uh, and they are really, really burning them down already. Some very, very strong damage coming out from Snowcrows. Oh, whoops, that's not quite right. My overlay being a bit yeah, weird. I don't know what NSX could be. And by the way, no search. Did you see that's here? Important. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know exactly what's going on there for NXS. I'm actually a little bit confused, honestly. But never mind, yeah. that is fine. Uh, we have the, yeah, there we go. They have now started, and the action is commencing. Uh, the composition uh, for SC, obviously, a lot of weavers, and um, with base warrior, a hollow smith, which is also another great power class choice there, uh, and uh, yeah, and of course the hand cutter with with a druid. Bear in mind, guys, this is not a done deal. Okay. This is not a done deal at all. They, you know, there is a very real possibility that things can go wrong. Because if there's one missed Aegis, or if a Greed detonates and removes your Aegis or a Pride, suddenly, everyone's dead. All it takes is one person to step into it's, a uh, yep. it's things... using a uh, Solby's uh, oh. hit Wait, did, uh, did SC do a one burn preface? I think they did, right? They did. Yes, they did. and NXS is doing NXX a two. Not. Yeah, they're doing a two burn. But uh, their Saul has taken zero damage. Yep, so yeah, yeah. And NXX something. is also using double druid compared to SC's oh, single SC's druid. Single druid. That, that, they really can't no. afford that. I, the the, the uh, SC is going to have so much extra DPS. Already on so the much. second Saul. Already exactly. on the second Saul, guys. SC, I mean, after a, a bit of a rough start there, they are putting on a clinic of how to do these challenge modes, guys, and not even with 10 players either. It really, really is very, very impressive, guys. We got one hell of a start so far, guys. Wait, what? Yes, I think SC, did they not ban base warrior? Oh, hang on. I might. Sorry, lads. I got that wrong. Hang on. Let me just check my check my memes. The list says base Your warrior. Your icon is wrong. Wait. Your icon is wrong. Wait. What? Okay. Yeah, it says they ban. It says they ban base warrior. Or did they change it? Oh, if they ban base warriors, they have what? to restart a fight. Then. Wait, what? This isn't base warriors. Yeah, it says hmm. it says on wing four they ban base warrior. On oh, oh boy, 
Really? Oh, that's what do. Wait, wait, what? what? I don't understand. Um, well... What, what's hmm. going on? Did they change something? I don't... Uh, we might need to check the VOD. What was they used for Samurai? I think they, they used... had Berserker. They had Berserker on Samurai. They had Berserker on Samurai. Berserker for Samurai. Uh, okay, yeah, alright, fine, fine. Icon. No, I have the wrong icon. Sorry, boys. Yeah, you had the wrong icon. Sorry, lads. Okay, and I, I, we, we can fix that. We can fix that. Don't worry. It's a VOD, it's a VOD board, guys. It's a VOD board. The Van Berserker? Okay, never mind. Oh, no. That is not good. NSX. Yeah, NSX. Uh... Oof. I think uh, yeah. as long as SC can play conservatively at this point and not wipe, they should be good. Yep. No, oh, so yeah, yeah no, I'm, no, I'm no, a no. professional streamer, right, guys? Don't worry, that is fixed now. That is fixed. Van T5 confirmed. Yeah, no, 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 no. It is confirmed. It is confirmed. <laughs> it's all above board. Just, I, I, sorry, guys. It was uh, wrong on my, on my end there. Bit of a, bit of a problem there. Do not worry. It's all legit. And I'll, if, if we do another wing for with, uh, with SC, we'll have that fixed, of course. And yeah. as you can see, you don't have to stack the hands nicely to actually do the most here. Mm. It's obviously yeah. an, it's an added bonus, right? But it's not really necessary. Yeah. The more DPS you have, the worse hand management you can afford to yeah. have. Yeah. Exactly. Well, now SC has reached the most treacherous point in the fight yes. where shit can go wrong. Oh, yeah. and they are not risking it. They are yeah, not they're not going for YOLO. They're not going for a sacrifice Easy. track. That's probably not... Yeah, I mean, they would end up with only eight people, so maybe that wouldn't really be worth that. Uh, but... Uh, they're not going for that ultimate I aggression. I think they'll be more safe because if you look at the uh, shackle prisoners, that that... was really rough. But yeah, those hands kind of hurt a little bit. But they, oh, so... they can only ah. allow two more pry in, and that's it. I think each pry does twenty five percent HP. Yep, to that's score. correct. So yeah. this one really can't get it, but it is right on top of the boss, All which right. is good. So it's going to get cleaved down. It's going to get cleaved down. Soul, in addition to that, he's getting cleaved as well, and the break bar is completely shut down as well. And it's just going to be a few short percentages, a few short percentages. It's easy. Uh, and then it will be it will be job done, very, guys. Very nice. From yep. SC. Very nice. Very very clean. Yeah. Of course, the last ten percent really doesn't uh, mean too much. Uh, with 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 Demos, it is kind of, uh, and in fact, on CM guys, Saul will actually join you. Uh, it's not, I'm not sure if that's intentional or something, but yeah, it will. Uh, you will in fact have him back, so you will have that debuff, and he will help you, and you can't die after that point as well. I think that last meteor shower is gonna tickle yep. him to ten percent. There it is. Now we're gonna go over and find Big Daddy Demos. Easier in the last phase. Yes, this, there is really not much to do here. It's pretty much an instant burn, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is a little bit of RNG to it. Uh, sometimes he might not use his signet. Saul might not use the unnatural signet right away, uh, so you won't get that massive damage modifier for the true one shot. But it is going to be—it's almost certainly going to be Snokers. I think it will be very difficult to wipe at this point. By, um, by standing next to Saul and give him quickness, so therefore he casts the signet a little bit more. Oh yeah, uh, quickness. You got a buff Saul as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, very interesting. Saul, yeah. Uh, look, look, I mean it. <laughs> they didn't actually, I believe they didn't get it, but it really doesn't matter as it's going to be over in just a few moments. 3%, 2%, 1%, and there we go. Snow Crows, a full wing 4 CM run in under 28 minutes, guys. Yep. That is going to be one, GG. Hi. And with a wipe as well, so even though there were there were a few Ooh, issues, uh, they still get it done fast, guys, okay? Wow, amazing See, stuff there. Very amazing. Yeah. See, guys, this is what happens when you forget to turn on challenge mode, even once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To forget, to turn on, forget to turn on CM and, well, damn, you know, there you go. Uh, that's, that's how it goes, man. And we're